man in Utah pulling a gun on a convenience store clerk, but he eluded police for over a year until investigators say he turned up in Orinda and attacked a man at a party. NBC Bayer's Elise Kirchner joins us live from Orinda. And Elise, this news comes as city leaders are trying to meet to decide about banning online house rentals in that city. Yeah, and just the meeting was prompted by the brutal beating that occurred in front of a online rental property. The suspect we've learned was also wanted in a violent home invasion and a robbery in Utah, and it was all caught on camera. He calmly walks in, points his gun, and prepares to fire shots. This is surveillance video from December 2015 of Filele Maka. Detectives say it was taken shortly after he held a father and son at gunpoint during a home invasion in Utah. Fast forward to today, we do have a suspect in custody. Authorities finally caught up with Maka in San Leandro last week after police say he nearly beat a fellow party goer to death outside a house party in Orinda in February. Now he's still in, in the hospital uh, with life threatening injuries. While the 21 year old victim fights for his life, Maka is being charged with attempted homicide. The violent fight occurred outside a five bedroom, five bath Orinda home that the homeowner advertised online for $8.75 a night. But I consider this to be a very safe community, so it is disturbing to me. And while there already is a party ordinance here that holds homeowners responsible when parties get rowdy, the city is now considering banning online property rentals done through Airbnb, HomeAway, and other websites. I don't think they should ban it. You know, People should have the freedom to use their houses as they wish. And in about an hour, the city council will discuss banning online property rentals. It's something other communities here in Contra Costa County have already done. Danville banned it last month. Reporting live from Orinda tonight, I'm Elise Kirshner, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, Elise, thank you.